Hi, I'm Jen, and I'm the contractor on Buying It Blind. I've been in and out of this business for probably the past 20 years. The best part about the job is seeing the before and afters and really getting to like know where you started with the space and what you deliver at the end. And I just love working with people and watching their dreams come true. I mean, this is their house. This is a major thing. And you know, it's so amazing to be able to deliver a product that people just love. One of the most challenging things about my job is working with people's budgets because I feel like people want things, but they can't afford them. And then they still want them. And it's a really big challenge to be able to give people what they want within the budget that they have. Every decision has a cost associated with it. So like, sure, if we had an unlimited budget, I mean, I could give them the Taj Mahal, but like, we don't have an unlimited budget. We're not gonna be able to give them everything they want. I think the best advice I could give to a new homeowner is live in your space for a little bit and really decide what you need and what you want before you start making changes. Sometimes people jump into a renovation right off the bat. I mean, obviously some homes need them before you even step foot in them, but a lot of times I find from clients that they say, you know, I wish I had just remembered to do this, or I wish I had done this. And if you live in a space for a little bit, you really figure out what works and what doesn't work and what you need to sort of cohabitate in that space in a way that makes you happy. I think people like to come to me because I try to do my best to take their vision and give it to them the way they want it as opposed to taking it as my vision and giving them what I want. I tend to be pretty detail oriented. I'm not a designer, but I sort of see things that maybe sometimes other contractors don't see. When it comes to buying it blind, I think I have this tremendous amount of pressure that keeps me up at night. First of all, we're around the clock working to make these deadlines, and then we don't even know if the client's gonna like it. They get no input, really, on what we're gonna do to the space or how we're gonna do it, and that's like a tremendous amount of pressure. I hope that when people watch Buying It Blind, they sort of just realize that they can trust in the process. Like, if you hire the right people to work with, I mean, really, you can sort of let go and let people do what they're good at and take care of you in a way that, you know, they're not gonna let you down. I think I would trust in this process of buying it blind. There's different stages in your life where it may or may not be more appropriate, but if that's something that fell into my lap, then there's a reason why it's meant to be there. And look at this process, like it's amazing. And I've, tr you know, seen it from both sides now and I feel like it's a really fun way to go about buying a house.